All right, my friends, we're at a point where we want to uh, start securing the track. That's what this video is all about. This was just a little bonus feature here to catch you up. I want my switch track to be straight. So in order for me to make it straight, what I had to do is I have a foam up here that's got perforated marks on it all the way through there. So what I did is I took my, my tape measure and I uh, just made sure that uh, I had a good connection, a good round corner off of this switch right here. And then I measured up here and found out that I was one inch off of that line to get me straight. So then what I did is I took my uh, red marker and I marked on each side where that switch goes. But I also want to put my other track feeders in here because I'm getting to a point where I'm gonna glue this down. So over here on the switch, I'm gonna be putting this down on the switch and that's gonna go up here, okay? But then I want to have power back here again, so I'm going to come up here, probably right in this area, and I'm going to draw a little red line there to indicate that's where I'm going to put a, a power feeder at. And then I'm going to come up here somewhere, and I can do that after I get done with this. So I'm going to lift this out. I'm going to put this track feeder in and this feeder in, and then I can... Uh, glue all that down and then I can put my other two switch lines in there so in order to get this to go through the whole thing I have to use a bigger uh, drill bit as you can see there and uh, that's going to take that whole space so we're going to do a couple of things here we're going to go ahead and disconnect that side off of our switch And we're going to disconnect the short side going back. Then I'm going to disconnect my switch. And then I'm going to disconnect just this part right here too. Okay. So now we've got our straight line of where that is going to curve in there at. The switch has a little uh, pieces right in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's where this gets plugged into but I'm going to use a switch that I need to use this end off of so I want to be careful on going down through there and I don't want to pull the wire up and pull that piece off this piece can only go one way down through here I noticed And it's a, it's a replacement part. So I'm trying to snap this piece in here. So to prove it to you, it only can go in there one way. I couldn't get it to go in there another way. So now that I know where that's going to be, I got my marks drew out and where that's at. I can now kind of put that back in place. You no, know, right behind where I made this mark, I'm gonna drill that in there. Now I'm gonna look and make sure I've got nothing intervening. I know I have a, uh, a one by four support here, but I'm gonna come on this side of this thing. And that's where I'm gonna put my hole at. As you notice, I slowed down when I was drilling through there because uh, my, my fireplace mantle is right underneath there and I didn't want to hit that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to vacuum all that up and uh, we'll be putting that in. But I'm also going to switch over and drill this uh, hole here for my other switch operation. Did you already see me do one? I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the camera off. I'll get this hole drilled in here and get it vacuumed in. Then I'll come back on camera and we'll snap all this back together and glue the track down. 
Well, here comes the critical part. As you can tell, I've got that uh, hooked up and I pulled the cable through. I also drilled this hole. And uh, what I'm going to do, like I said, I don't need uh, this end when I'm doing uh, line feeders. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut that off. I'm going to use my uh, same straw. Push that through there until it comes out the other side. See that right there? I'm going to pull it back just a little bit through and I'm going to put this down in here. Pull it out the bottom. As you can tell, I got it out. Right now, this is the critical part. You've got to be able to put all your whites on the same line feed, even when you're coming through a switch. So I put a uh, piece of masking tape to indicate my white side. The black side doesn't have, or the blue side doesn't have anything on there. So I'm going to put that back on my line here. And right now I've got it so it'll come through. But I'm going to throw the switch. And this is going to be an indication of which side the white line has to go on, okay? So, I pull this down through there so we're even. And the white has to be on the same side as my same white here. So, the white has to be towards the camera. So, the blue is going to be on the other way. So, let's go ahead and put these on this track just like they were coming down so i'm going to put my blue one coming in there and my white one coming in here okay now i know it's right because i'm looking at it and when it comes across here i'm going to have white and white hooked up just like my outside main, okay? So then I'm gonna go ahead and pull these down in here and hook these up. Make sure you've got a tight fit, give your line a little snug fit. And I'll leave that down there until I'm done with this section. Okay, now I've got my switch done. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed my switch back through here as well. And then uh, I got my cord right here. I'm just gonna give it a little snug fit. Make sure we're lined up with our side there. Now we need to drill a, uh, a, a wire feeder for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this back here, make sure we're straight. And then I'm also going to put a power line feeder here, but I'm not going to do this one just yet because I'm going to make that tunnel back there. And uh, I've got uh, some connection pieces. This is a magnetic uh, uncoupler unit. So if I have magnetic couplers and I go across this uncoupler, it will uncouple that. So I want to put that there and then whatever short pieces I need to go back there. I'm also going to put one coming back here when I get into my straight area, which I've got two more curved pieces, but I want to put my power feeder right here and then my curved piece is going to sit right here, then whatever my short pieces I need there. I also have a bumper, this, this lights up, this illuminates, and that's gonna set back there at the end. So whatever I have there, just to put three cars, this may end up going all the way over there, who knows? I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get that done. So if everything works right, I should be able to come back here and realize that I've got my white lines hooked up there, my blacks on the other side, so when I get over to here, it's going to be the same way. Right now, we're not going through that switch real, really well. So let's uh, do it again. That's why I wanted to get this secured. Oh, she came off again. 
Rerailer. Rerail your cars, Michael. Okay, the white's on this side, towards me again. Okay, so you see where my caboose is at? So I'm gonna put another power feeder right down through there. But for me to do that, I'm gonna to have to pull my track out I'm on my whole table. I'm going to pull my whole table this way because I can't reach that wire. I've had a hard time trying to reach that. That wire will hook to a power feeder that will be back over there. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to pull that apart. So I'm not ready to do that just yet, but I know where that's got to go. Okay. I could probably drill a hole and vacuum it up, but like I said, I've got uh, some other parts that's got to go through there. So this is going to be setting over here, as you can tell, if I move all these cars over to here, that's going to be setting right there, as you can tell. And then this is my uh, universal signal light. That light is supposed to light up. You can put that little reflective thing over it. This stuff is tiny, my friends. I can't already see it. Anyway, I'll figure that out in a little bit. It's just that I think I broke it. It just sits over the top out of it. I look at that one. I can see it just comes off so I can set it back. Over it. There. I'll have to use my reading glasses for that. But you see that that's going to set over here somewhere. Let me turn the camera there. That's where I put the thing that lights up right there. All right, the uncoupler there. So that means that this uh, livestock thing is going to have to come over here. Yeah, right about there is kind of where I wanted it at. That gives us the idea of what it's going to be like. So if I take and pull this all out of here, you can pull quite a few of these little ones off of here. Short ones don't need to be in there. Take those out of there. Then I will put my recoupler on there. You know what I did? I made a piece and put my recoupler on there. I'm going to put this piece in here and see if that. Got to be very gentle with it, my friends. Very, 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 very gentle. So, should be able to put a uh, another small piece back in there. Maybe these smaller pieces. One of these will do it. That'll get me where I want to go back in there. I can put that next to this magnetic kind of coupler just to get some more length out of the track. All right. That's where that's going to go. And then this gets hooked right there. And what I want to do is give this some kind of a measurement too. So if we're going straight there, I'm going to eyeball that from that other way and make that straight. Another thing you can do is use a straight stick. And you can see where your line's going to go. I kind of want about the same spacing in there, so I think that's going to do it for me. 
I'm also going to measure off of my red line for my road. I made a line for my road here. Let's seven and a half off of the black side. I think that's perfect right there. The barn will sit right there. That'll sit right there. We'll have to utilize all of that for this. My idea was, is could uh, three of the cattle cars come back in there and sit at the crossing to pick up those cattle. So there would be one cattle car sitting right there. So this is the right diameter. So even if I had three of them sitting in there, I could set three of them in there. Let's say that these are my cattle, 40 foot cattle cars. Okay, that's two. And one more coming across the coupler, the uncoupler. Let's use this car. Wish I actually had the, come on, get on your track. Yeah, and then I can back up the, see what I mean? I can back up my locomotive right there and that will uncouple that car right there. See what I mean? And all, so all I can do is have three cars back there. I might want to put another little piece in there just to get that back in there a little bit further so I can get, make sure I got three cars. Cause it looks like this one and this one is the same length. This one might be a little shorter. So let's go ahead and put another piece of track in there. And I think we'll be good on that. Like I said, I kind of figured that was going to have to go back in there all the way anyway. And yeah, I could use uh, one solid piece of track, but I don't have it right now. All right. That's kind of what I wanted that to look like. So this power feeder is in here. This is in here. Let's go ahead and get this one in here right now. Well, I'm set up for it. We'll pull this off here. We'll pull this one off here because this connection in here is what I'm working on. Let me turn the camera back. So it's this inside connection that I've got to pull these off of. That one's off. And this one's coming off. Always well, got to turn your thing upside down. I think. Yep. All right, now that's where my connector, connecting thing goes. I pulled it out already over here. Again, and stretch that wire line out. Cut that off. Feed it down through your straw. until it comes out the other side. See it there? 
Now, how do we know where to put it at? Let's put this piece back in here, make sure this is straight. So we're gonna drill, let's find a red marker that we had. Here it is. Let's drill right down through the connections. This back off of here. I can go ahead and drill that down. I'll do that uh, off camera and then I'll pull the table out and get it down and I'll come back and finish this video up. Well, I decided for sake of the audience to go ahead and move my table out to get behind it for y'all. So I already got my hole drilled. I vacuumed it. I connected it here. And I got this ready to go down in here. So it's just a matter of feeding it there's a support right next to it I might have to redrill it Is the fun of uh, modeling. I'm going to take it down at an angle. Find my thing. There it is. Backing that up later. Try that again. We know it's at an angle, right? There we go. This takes a little bit of persuasion. There's my straw. We got white on your side and blue on my side. Let's go ahead and get that snapped together. Snap this section together. going to be the way that's going to be. All right, push this back over here where it's straight. I'm going to set something heavy right there because I want to glue that track down, but I wanted it to come straight. So that other re-rater is going to come on the other side of this, but I don't want to do that get all that secured until I cut this tunnel out. So I'm just going to leave that separate for right now. We can go ahead and uh, put this in here if we want to. And then we can finish this when we get the tunnel done. All right. All right, well, guess I'll push that back and uh, show you how I glue the track down. Before I glue that track down though, I like to uh, start it up and see how that light works. Well, I uh, brought my uh, locomotive back to my cattle shipping area there plugged it in let's see if this little light lights up that's kind of what I was after and it does and as you can see the more power I go the brighter that little light gets DCC will allow it to be bright all the time So you've seen that I put all the power feeders in there. We only got one power feeder that's feeding this. Let's go see if she works on the, uh, the siding. 
works right there. All right, that looks good. Come back out here. Now let's uh, go ahead and run our uh, cattle cars in there. Let me pause the video so I'm not in your way. All right, let's let him run around uh, as if he's uh, actually got some empty cattle cars. Really, he's only got one on board there. Well, let's uh, see him back up in here and see if uh, we've got enough room to drop off those three cars. Little power on that side. There we go. Yep, I'm gonna drop that third car right there, and then we'll be able to pull it out again, and away it goes. So let's pull them out like uh, we've got them loaded. But what we're gonna do uh, in the operations is uh, we're going to have this caboose that's going to be sitting back on the main line back here because he don't need to be part of the operation and and watch that light as i turn that switch oh, wow. that's cool <laughs> what is that for a second that's just uh, an indication that that's where you got to stop at oh, okay. so what i want to do is i want to pull out and pick up my caboose Now I got my caboose, now I can go to work and I can take these to the way from home uh, station and take them to the packing house, see? Mm -hmm. So that's what I got going on there right now. We'll go ahead and run him past that switch. Is the front light on the engine on it? Uh-uh. And as you can tell, we've got no power on that uh, light back there, but... Uh, Let's back him up and that runs, it'll be running all the time when we got DCC. There's tape on the caboose. Yeah, let's indicate that's the white side of the power leads because I got power here, 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 and over here now. Oh, cool. I got this switch hooked up. I don't have any power here yet because I want to finish that. Mm -hmm. So let's finish out this video, my friends. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It was basically getting power to our switches, power to the uh, lines, and then when we hook up our DCC buzz line, I'll be hooking all those up. I'll show you how I'm doing that. The little uh, entry uh, was just to uh, get ready to get the irrigation ditch in here. I really enjoyed that. But uh, I enjoy making these videos for you and I uh, thank you for your time to, to watch it. And I also appreciate, my wife does too, if you give us a thumbs up and if you'd subscribe to our channel, that helps us to grow, that helps our YouTube algorithm. And we've got a lot of videos to go. So God bless, we'll see you soon.